Tell me when you're ready. Hello everyone, welcome to HB Discover 2013 in uh, Barcelona, Spain. I'm Justin Washes at 3CB Guy on Twitter. You can find my blog on 3CBGuy.com. I'm with two other industry uh, bloggers here, and we're going to do a demo of vCenter Operations Manager with the new three-part plugin. Very excited to see it, and uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So, hola, I'm Bart, based in Belgium, blogging for Bitcoin.be. I'm excited to be here with these great guys in <laughs> Barcelona, those experts. So let's take a look. And I'm Craig Kilborn from the uh, from UK, and I represent VMFocus.com. So we're here today to have a look at the new free power plugin for vCenter Operations Manager with Hans. Take us away. So thank you for joining me on the booth. What you can see here is the brand new storefront analytics pack. And behind that is the free power plugin for vCenter Operations. What you see here, what we added is three new nice dashboards, which gives you an overview of we have monitoring, we have troubleshooting, we have performance. What you currently see here is the monitoring piece. So this allows you to directly have one common overview how the status is of your free power system connected into vCenter operations. So you directly get the very, very or many data around all the different aspects the free power system has directly visible within the system. And that's key. Am I right in saying, Hans, that here I've got every single drive, all the HBA, the fiber ports, and all the components? Is that correct? That's what you see here is wow. complete view on all the different components, disk drives, controllers, HBAs, fans, the system itself, they could really drill into that. What you see here see is the next health status on uh, the free power adapter, that's the term here within vCenter operations for free power system. And you see here various components yeah. and the health state of the components. What you also see here over here is the aspect of the, the free power volumes, IOs per second, but we can also drill down here to capacity and IOs per disk drives, per ports. If you look here on the drive itself, you get information about various components or various um, values, yep. different ones. So volume capacity, we have here the, the health state, we have here performance figures, you could drill down into that to get a uh, more inside view on all the health aspects. Yep. The complete environment is completely customizable, so whatever you want to see, you can see that, or you can, can configure that in, in the framework of recent operations. But that's just the main piece. And I'm right in saying that there's two versions of the plugin for FreePA. There's a free version, and, there's, and then there's the pay for version. Just talk to me about which bits I get for different versions. Okay, so in general, we have one version of the plugin. Yep. And out of those three dashboards, we have the monitoring plugins for free from the licensing perspective. The troubleshooting and the performance plugins uh, have to have a license. And can you take us through those plugins now? Of course, of course. Uh, let's have a look on the troubleshooting plugin here. While you're doing this, uh, availability on the plugin, is it available uh, right now to for It's right now, it's just released for Discover now. So you could download it from the HP software, hp.com website. Great. Excellent stuff. So what you could get here, which is a nice picture, everything is green, so that's what we want to see. Hey, we're healthy on the free part. That's a surprise, <laughs> isn't it? Never any issues. <laughs> I think it's not an issue at all for you to create some trouble, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the nice piece is we have two free power systems connected here. Yep. And you get here the full tree from the virtual machine. So if I would select the virtual machine here, uh, doesn't care. And you see it automatically changed the, the thing here. Now I can dive, or I have to stack for every single part within the complete stack here. So that's my virtual machine, it's my data store. You see, you get the name, you get the health state, you have some other parameters nice. here. You could go down to the volume, so that's my free power line. Yeah. 
then I can go to the common provisioning group, common provisioning group yep. on the three parts of policy definition, yep. which defines the disk type, the rate level, capacity limits, threshold, those kind of things. Then I reach my array level, so I'm currently on the array three part two. Those four controllers belong to that array. Those are the drive cages belonging to that array. And if anything would go red, I could drill into that. And here you see the changes. And I get immediately those parts which are involved in that issue. And I couldn't go further here. So one of the great things here for me is I'm a VSP administrator essentially. I've got a hot VM, things going wrong basically. I can see the data store, the volume, I can see what arrays are, I can see what drives are even using, even what fiber channel port down here as well guys, yeah? That is the complete view down the stack. That, that's exactly the important thing because any any component goes red here, you just click the performance to get the complete stack. That's only one of the most valuable things for the VMware administrator yep. which not necessarily have the knowledge on the free car architecture. Yeah. That's the basis for him to talk to his storage guy, right? Yeah. yeah and exactly. I think that drives from the point we were discussing yesterday, where you know, the VMware environment is typically uh, being managed by an administrator, a Windows-based administrator, who now has to take on some storage, has yeah. to take on yeah. networking, and has to understand the entire stack. When something goes wrong, you can't call a networking guy now. You have to know everything. Yeah. And I think this really takes off where the built-in console left off, yep. you know, left out, That's per right. se. Yep. This puts it in a dashboard view, which is huge, and you don't have to have a PhD to troubleshoot here. That's, no, that's another thing that I think is very really, so Even if you go quickly back to this one, and you are interested in the half state, you could, you could also see that, you see this one is, is orange, so I think it's... Uh, uh, we have a little bit, we reached the threshold, we just reached, reached the threshold. So you could you directly see, and that's the free component, you get quite a lot of information yep. already in the yep. free component. Let's switch back to the troubleshooting one. And if you select the virtual machine here, you see immediately I'm running on those two ESX server. You see the components around it. Yeah. You can just click down to the various system components Oops. until you finally reach the free process system. Oops. Yeah. So you have immediately the complete view of the system. Let's quickly switch to the performance one to yeah. finalize that. That is the default performance dashboard definition we have. Yep. So you see it's mainly the top five consumer guys where something happens. From the, uh, and also capacity, it's not just the IO or bandwidth rate, so it's capacity in percent for the volumes, IOs per second, response time, QDEV, all the typical performance values for those high consuming guys in one view. And if you want to have something different, just redefine what you want to see, and you could build that. So let's assume... I imagine this on a nice 46-inch plasma yeah. <laughs> data center somewhere. You know, it's like, meh, yeah. meh, 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 I want it in my noise. office. I want it. Definitely. <laughs> if you see here, you have here really the editability uh, to change views. You could take out something which you are not interested, put in something more, you could change the view. You could adapt it to, to your needs as you need that. So, in order to get this functionality, what version of vCenter operations management do I need to combine with the free part plugin? Uh, I think it starts, I'm not sure about that, but I think I have 5.6. Okay. It works, of course, at 5.7. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure at the moment if all the versions are also supported. So, we would have to check that. So, if I want to purchase then the, the full version of the free power plugin, yeah. how does the licensing work? To be honest, that's not the question you should ask me because I'm the technician. <laughs> technician. Good, good dodge, good yeah. dodge. Right. Yeah. Um, but we did hear for 10 arrays, it was, um, so yeah, 10 arrays, it was around uh, $10,000, Yeah, right? that, that's right. Yeah. So we're figuring somewhere around $1,000. You know more than I do. Yeah. 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 And I think 
think it's worth it for $1,000. Yeah. Right? Definitely. You Certainly, if you're a large environment, if you want to monitor your infrastructure, and recent operation is certainly one of the key components VMware have here um, to monitor the whole systems. And it's very important that we can plug in into that and provide the necessary information to the VMware administrators. Thank you very much. It's been you're really very welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, Great overview. Thank you for the information. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thanks very much for the video. Hope to see you soon.